Now let's see the sentence. It says that while he says that he did not mean to kill, some feel that his actions are dash murder. That means the author is trying to say that he did not mean to kill, but some felt that the actions were equal to murder. So if we can see the keyword, that means it will be equal to murder. Now let's see the words that match this. Preceded by. What does preceded by mean? Preceded by means something that has come before something. On par with. On par with means equal to that. So we can say that yes, on par with can be an option. Superseded by. What is the meaning of superseded? Superseded means that if one thing has taken the place of another thing, it is known as superseded by. So superseded is not equal to the word that is equal to. So superseded cannot be a part of this blank. Homage to. What is homage to? Like uh, the people gave homage to the court or they gave homage to the king. So homage is like a respect, veneration. So homage cannot be a part of the sentence. An accrual of. Accrual of means to acclaim something. That means uh, to accumulate something is the meaning of accrual. Because we are not accumulating anything in this sentence, so an accrual of can also not be a part of this blank. Tantamount to. Tantamount to means something that is equal to something. So yes, we can say that tantamount to can be a part of this. So the two options that we have for this sentence will be on par with and tantamount with. Let's put these two words into this sentence to see. While he says that he did not mean to kill, some feel that his actions are on par with murder and are on tantamount to murder. Let's see the sentence. It says that though considered a somewhat somber drama at the time of its release, the film Shampoo about a philandering hairdresser now seems more the dash comedy. Now what is meaning of somber? Somber means something that is dull, something that is uninteresting. Philandering. Philandering means someone who is a womanizer is known as philandering. Now, let's read the sentence again because now we know the words, of the, the meaning of these two words. Though considered a somewhat somber drama means something that is not very exciting, it is dull, it is uninteresting. At the time of its release, the film Shampoo about a philandering hairdresser now seems a more comedy, seems a more dash comedy. So, the key word in this sentence is though. That means the first and the second part of the sentence contradict themselves. That means because the first part is somber, so now the comedy does not seem somber anymore. Now, let's come and see the options that we have. The first option that we have is says pukish. Pukish means something that is mischievous, something that is naughty. Let me give you some synonyms for the word pukish. Pukish means mischievous. It means you can say it's impish. Imp like. Prankish. Pixelated. All these words mean means that something that is a comedy, it is a mischievous comedy. So we can say that pukish can be a part of this blank. Uninhibited. Uninhibited that means it is not stopped by anything, it is not inhibited by anything, which will not match this sentence. Purient. Purient is someone who is lewd, lascivious, lacarous, that means who does not lack, who lacks self-restraint. Purient. Lewd, lustful, salacious, lubricious. That means someone who lacks self restraint. Prurient can obviously not be a part of this because they say that comedy is no longer somber. Did worry. Wiry again means that something that is mischievous, something that now feels a comedy, something that is sarcastic. So we can say that yes, wiry can be a part of this blank. The earlier word that we had chosen was pukish. That also means something that is mischievous, something that involves some sort of comedy. Dated. Dated means something that does not exist now. It used to exist somewhere in the past because there is no relevance to past in this. So dated cannot be a part of this blank. 
puritanical puritanical means someone who has uh, who is perfect who has left all the uh, beliefs of the world and has become completely pure let me give you some synonyms for puritan puritan means someone who is morally correct who is exaggeratedly proper like priggish prim pudish prissy that means they are morally correct okay so we can say that the answer to this option to this sentence we can have two options that is wiry and pukish let me put these two sentences into the sentence and see whether they are actually fit into the sentence or not though considered a somewhat somber drama at the time of its release in 1975 the film shampoo about a philandering hairdresser now seems more the wiry comedy or the pukish comedy that means something that is sarcastic and now feels like a comedy okay representative government arose in part from dissatisfaction which with too many monarchs making dash decisions without regard for precedents so we can say that in this sentence the government or the monarchs were making decisions that were not in regard and not according to the precedents or to the people for whom they were making those decisions that means they were making decisions without thinking much so let's come on to the options and see that means they were making decisions without thinking much that means they were making wrong decisions not according to the will of the people without thinking about the people capricious capricious means something that is done without thinking much that means not according to the need but according to your own intention according to your own thinking that means at point of time that thing may be right but may not be proved right later on so that means without much thinking that means it can be wrong so capricious considered obviously the monarchs did not consider the choices or the decisions that they were taking so consider will not be a part of this blank malicious malicious is something that is intentionally wrong now these monarchs were making wrong decisions but they were not making these decisions intentionally wrong they were not thinking about properly so malicious can not be a part of this blank pessimistic pessimistic someone who does not have a good thinking that means someone who always thinks negative about something so pessimistic can again not be a part of this blank insidious insidious is also again someone who thinks negative something that is uh, related to uh, something not something supernatural something that is not good doing erratic erratic means wrong decisions so we can say that yes the monarchs were making erratic decisions so we can say that we have two options here that is capricious and erratic let's put these two words into this sentence representative governments arose in part from dissatisfaction with too many monarchs making capricious or erratic decisions without regard for precedents okay given the influx of information via social media the only way that a person can function effectively is to dash to metamorphically separate the wheat from the chaff in this particular sentence we clearly have something that says that to separate the wheat from the chaff that means the influx or the amount of information that we get from social media we cannot imbibe or all the information is not useful for us so we have to separate what information is actually required and what information is not required so in this case the keyword that we can put is to separate now the first thing says delete now we don't have to delete we have to separate that what is required for us and what is not required to us so delete cannot be a part triage what does triage means triage means to separate out to separate out what is required and what is not required which exactly fits into our keyword that is triage prioritize prioritize is that you have to uh, give one thing more importance than the other now we have to choose what is relevant for us what is not relevant for us so prioritizing means giving one thing more importance than the other does not fit into this sentence respond we don't have to respond to anything we have to separate requite requite means something that is not required that means 
something uh, that is not relevant. Eliminate. Eliminate is also to differentiate. That means what is required should be eliminated from what is not required. Eliminate. So, let us put these two words into the sentence to see. Given the influx of information via social media, the only way that a person can function effectively is to triage or to eliminate, to metamorphically separate the wheat from the shaft. 